Hello everyone and welcome back. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette and we are going to do another episode of Spirit Show Me a Sign. It is a Tarot Tuesday collective reading. That means that uh, these messages can be for anyone who watches. It may or may not be your story. Um, it isn't for any particular person or any particular zodiac sign. It can be applied to any aspect of your life or any situation that you might be experiencing. So just keep an open mind. Remember, the future is never set in stone. We all have free will to make our own decisions. So let's see what's going on for us in the ethers on this lovely Tarot Tuesday spirit. Show me a sign. What do we need to know most this week? Messages for everyone's highest good only. And I invite my guardian angels and spirit guides, ancestors on the other side, to step through and assist. Okay, in the overall energy, we have... The Gollum, a close friend acts on your behalf. Someone's going to do you a solid. Someone owes you a favor. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone's going to stand up for you, fight for you. Give you a hand, help you out. All right, just to take a peek at the bottom. Yeah, you've got earth. Utilize logic, reason, and common sense. Okay. What else do we need to know at this time? Spirit, show me a sign. This person may um, be on the chunky side or husky side, full-bodied. <laughs> they got a body shape like Mrs. Butterworth. They're strong, muscular. They may have blue eyes. All right, on the bottom, you've got the Eight of Cups. Does this Eight of Cups make my ass look fat? And then you've got the moon. got the two of pentacles ace of swords on the bottom you've got the king of pentacles all right this person is well to do but they're also very um stable cautious okay they've got one last uh cookie to give here's king midas He's got one last stuff to give Okay, he's very careful where he's going to invest the situation. Um, you're leaving behind a period of fear, uncertainty, instability, unknown, and there's truth and clarity coming in. Um, it could have to do with the two eclipses that we have coming up. We have a... Uh, Full moon total lunar eclipse in the sign of Libra coming up on March 25th. And then, of course, we have the total solar eclipse coming in um, during Aries season on April 8th. So these eclipses are going to leave some of you especially if you're born under the sign of Cancer or Pisces, they're going to be making you feel a little bit wonky, a little bit wobbly, but there is structure and stability coming in. I do see money looking good. You're going to get some communication here that's going to um, clear things up, bring some truth. Someone doesn't want to lose you or see you walk away. Let's get another deck, shall we? Of course. Tell me about this golem. 
close friend acts on your behalf. Um, someone may have given, given you some advice or this other person may have gotten some advice from a close friend. Um, they're having trouble making a decision. You know, you need to trust yourself. Um, somebody could be influenced here by friends, family, the opinions of others. You need to think for yourself. If this is you, if this is the other person, they need to think for themselves. And I, I do see them wanting to stabilize the situation or you're wanting to stabilize your situation. And you're going to get some help to do that. You've got the Hierophant. Okay. Um, the Hierophant means many, many different things. It's a very spiritual card. It's about your, your faith, your belief system, your moral values, your religious beliefs. It can be a traditional organization like a bank, hospital, insurance company, real estate, medicine. It can be a um, charismatic teacher. It's collective consciousness. It's a blessed union of souls. It might have to do with the institution of marriage, church on earth. following um, traditionally held societal beliefs. It's dogma. But this could be a spiritual friend or a Taurus who is going to help you out. It could be someone in your church, in your place of business, um, in your family, family member who's helping you out. Okay, there could be a difference of uh, spiritual beliefs here. Somebody's leaving behind the same old, same old. Someone is breaking free of tradition. Clarify this Hierophant with the Golem. Ten of Swords, yeah, the worst is over. Somebody feels betrayed. Somebody's, uh, everything that they know about spirituality, religion, um, traditional beliefs, society is being, um, they're betrayed by that. It wasn't for them. Somebody is awakening here. Somebody's really worried if they go against their family or their boss or their friends, what others believe and think that, you know, they're going to be ostracized or somebody was ostracized. But you have, you do have a loyal, faithful friend here who is going to stand up and Who believes in you and you have to believe in yourself first the worst is over here's your ace after the ten of swords tell me more about the moon cancerian energy you've got the knight of chalices here okay you don't see it yet, but there's some somebody's gonna reveal their deepest emotions. They're going to open up with their heart, their feelings, offer love, friendship, and support. This could be an apology, a proposal that that is gonna be revealed. You you're not gonna see this coming. This person might have been hiding in the background. This person has done some shadow work. This person might be afraid of opening up to you. 
they're on some sort of an emotional roller coaster. Or they see that you've got one foot out the door and they, again, they don't want to lose you. They see you possibly walking away and not investing any more emotional energy or effort into the situation. You're seeking something more. On the bottom of the clarifying deck is the Hermit Virgo energy. Okay, again, somebody has retreated. They've gone deep within. This might be you. You could be, again, dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo, even a Capricorn here. There's a lot of Earth here. But someone, someone knows, and someone's being guided to offer more support, offer more assistance, open up with their heart. Bring you stability and security that you crave, that you're seeking. Bring you truth. Communicate. Tell me about this hermit. High Priestess. They've been very silent here. This is um, Pisces Cancer energy again. Someone's been silent, but it's like, you know, somebody is really trusting themselves. The high priestess and the hermit and the hierophant, those are all um, re repeating energies. This is someone who's extremely educated, highly intelligent, very, very spiritual. This can be you or the other person or both. Someone has been silent here. And I feel like maybe if you've gone silent and, you know, emotionally detached, it's causing this person to go deep within and question their beliefs and their faith. Somebody knows. It's like this is some sort of unspoken love, unspoken emotion that someone intuitively is picking up on. This is someone who's studied, they're very educated when it comes to the esoteric, um, psychic mediumship, the tarot, the paranormal. Someone who's a wise but down-to-earth sage, spiritual healer and teacher. This can be you or someone else. Someone is picking up on somebody else's stress, on collective stress, chaos, and grounding themselves. Tell me about this high priestess and hermit. King of Wands. This could be... This is a very good looking, gorgeous person. They may have blonde or light brown hair, may have Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, strongly placed in their chart. This person intuitively knows when to make their move. They intuitively know when to go after what they truly want and desire, but they're also very practical. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person may own their own business or they are some sort of a manager or a leader, a boss, manager, CEO, wherever they work. They have the means and I feel like this person has not yet stepped up to the plate. And you're getting tired of investing your time, energy, and effort when you're not getting any help here. I feel like this, somebody's just watching you struggle on your own. And they've been holding back. And it's like, you are a high priestess here. You're like a goddess. This person didn't see your worth. 
or they're starting to see your worth and value and they're afraid that they're going to lose you forever. Whether this is a place of business, because you're extremely knowledgeable, you're highly, highly intelligent, but you are very, um, you don't um, brag about it. You, you're very low key about it. You may have more than one person that you need to choose. Choose from, because someone here is juggling, going back and forth. And somebody's tired of this wishy-washy energy and getting ready to walk away from it and ready to have a new start. They, somebody does not do well with ambiguity. Somebody likes to see the black and white. They don't do well in the in-between, in the gray areas. Whereas this high priestess lives in the shadows, lives in the gray areas, is used to ambiguity. And if you're out here looking for a job, there's an employer looking for somebody like you who is who can navigate in the gray areas and in the shadows and you know deal with ambiguity. Who's a take charge kind of person, but also highly skilled and knowledgeable, who can also keep confidential information, keep keep those secrets close to the chest. Or this person, if this is love, this person trusts you. You don't go putting their business out on the street. You keep it very, very quiet. You've inspired this person's confidence. They can open up to you. They trust you. And you're honest. And you also have a lot of love to give. You wear your heart on your sleeve. And that's what makes you lovable and charming. All right. Your advice is beauty. Someone thinks you're absolutely beautiful. It's that high priestess energy. It's the moon energy, very feminine, beautiful, Cancerian energy here. But someone thinks you're beautiful. Somebody embraces the beauty that's in the darkness. You're, you're mysterious to them. And it makes them want you even more. There is stability coming in. There's commitment coming in for some of you. The worst is over. All right, let's get some advice from my beautiful Soiree Magique. Soiree Magique is magical evening in French. All right. Got celebration, yeah. This person, somebody may invite you to a party or you're going to have some reason to celebrate after going through a very difficult time, especially maybe the last 10 years, 10 months, 10 weeks. There's some sort of a gathering. Could be formal gathering. Unexpected. This could be a last-minute invitation. You're not what somebody expected, or you're not going to do what others expect of you. You're going to just do your own thing. Somebody may have misjudged you. You might hear some unexpected news. Or when this person opens up, it's going to catch you off guard. You've got paramour. Okay. Um, this could be a married woman who... You know, may have taken a lover. Um, it 
some of you might be in um, ethical, non-monogamous relationships. Um, someone may have wanted a friends with benefits situation and somebody was not having it. They want the real deal commitment and marriage. Someone may have been afraid of commitment before. Somebody is ready to take a friendship to a different level, take it in another direction. And then you're going to get some sort of message. This could be a message from a lover. It's going to catch you off guard. It could be a love letter. Um, it's going to be something good because I do see celebration here. But I think you're going to get some good news that you're not going to expect from a lover. Beautiful energy. All right, this is what I have for you this week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And uh, until I see you again, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.